Hey guys, Miles Summerill here, and I haven't done a What's On My Phone video in a while, probably about a year or so, at least on this channel. So I think a decent amount of things have changed with the way this phone or my phones in general are set up. So yeah, here we go. Here is my ultimate best What's On My Phone video for early spring, almost summer 2017. Let's go. The phone I've been using for the past four or five days has been the OnePlus 3T in the almighty midnight black colorway, and this phone just looks phenomenal, period. Like, there's really nothing else to say about it. It's just a really, really nice looking phone. So when it comes to what I'm running on the phone, that would be a rooted copy of the latest Oxygen OS beta, and the 3T is one of the only phones that I can be satisfied with running the stock ROM on, because it basically runs and feels like a custom ROM with a very pure Android look and feel. So as you can see, I kind of have an all dark theme going on here, and I'm doing this firstly with a built-in Oxygen OS dark theme, and I'm getting all my apps to look this way through a substratum theme called Swift Dark. And I absolutely love the way this looks on an AMOLED display phone, and having a completely system-wide dark theme helps the battery a ton. When it comes to my home screen, I'm running the stock Oxygen OS launcher, and I kind of tweaked it a bit to get a third-party icon packing working on here, and this one is called Delta, and I really like the way it looks. It's a nice, flat design. And this clock widget is called Dash Clock, and I've got the inbox, battery, and weather extensions running on it. Now, these apps on my home screen are the ones I use the most, so of course, Hangouts for messaging and calling. Then we've got Aftership, which is an app I use every week pretty much, and it's probably one of the best free tracking apps out there in my opinion. For all my emails and stuff, I still use Inbox. And for Twitter, I decided to go back to the stock Twitter app. I was previously using Phoenix, but I, I kind of got tired of it. And then for some of my tech news and downloading ROMs and stuff, I use XDA Labs. So if you're an XDA member and you're active and you haven't heard of this app, you should really check it out. I do use Snapchat, but I'm not even gonna bother giving it out because I don't ever post anything publicly. And of course I use Instagram and YouTube every day as well. Now for checking the weather, lately I've been using the Today Weather app and it's hands down the cleanest free weather app for Android out there, period. The dark theme plays really well with AMOLED displays and it basically has all the weather info you could possibly need. Just look at these animations too, they're really, really slick. It also gives you all types of cool little details like it'll show you info on sunrises and sunsets, when we'll have the next new moon, and info on the wind direction and speeds. And you can also share the weather info with your own picture and share it with anyone on social media like Twitter or Snapchat or something like that. And thanks to todayweather.co who actually sponsored this video. And I'll make sure to leave links for their app down in the description if you wanna check it out, as well as a full review of the app I did on XDA TV. So when it comes to other apps I'm using, I'm using Solid Explorer for file browsing, LifeX to manage my LifeX bulbs. And I've actually really gotten to this game called Bullet Force. I'm actually pretty addicted to it. It's just this little FPS game, you know, by a small developer who's just starting out, but it's a really nice app, and I'll link it down below if you wanna check out the game and play it. So that's gonna be about it for this video. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed, and make sure to subscribe for future content like this, and also thanks again to todayweather.co for sponsoring this video. I'll make sure to leave their app. It will be the first link in the description down below, so make sure to go check that out and download it if you're looking for a nice weather app or whatever. So yeah, thanks again for watching, and I'll talk to you guys in the next video.